Welcome, dear Matrixers. We created a completely new graphic for this purpose, and it is, so to speak, an update of our video that we published on, I think it was December 2018, under the title Three Ways Out of the Matrix. Now, after the update, there are four ways out of the matrix. And there is also a lot of updated information so that you can understand, understand and recognize everything even better. Yes, of course, we have also developed further, seen even more and, of course, received even more updated information from above about how the whole matrix is structured. So in the future, you should take a look at four ways out of the matrix because it is actually even more current and even closer to the truth. In truth, there are not four ways out of the matrix, but actually five, because we necessarily have to divide one way because we distinguish between a free matrix and the free universe. So there are actually five ways out of at least the Earth matrix. Exactly. Then I would say, let's get started. Then I would say, let's go through the structured questions that we have written down here. The first would be, how is the matrix really structured? And of course, we have to differentiate. We have to differentiate, first of all, between the Earth matrix and the free matrix, or even digitized matrix. Actually, both matrices are digital. Simulations that were artificially created a long, long time ago and that we have been working around for perhaps thousands of years. And then there's something else you have to understand about the free universe. The free universe is outside the Earth matrix and outside the free matrix. As you can see on the graphic, the 3D matrix is in the innermost circle. Surrounding the 3D matrix is the 5D matrix, or also called the free matrix. And on the outside, the outermost ring, that is the free universe, or absolute freedom. So we have three layers that are structured like an onion. And we are in the innermost layer. This means that the origin of the free matrix began at some point in the free universe, the creation of the universe and galaxies. And within the free matrix, the 3D matrix was then created, so to speak as a miniature version of the free matrix with its lower frequencies. And on this basis, the 3D matrix was created. And the 5D matrix, or we also like to call it digital matrix or free matrix, is of course much freer than the 3D matrix, because, for example, there is no amnesia, or no amnesia is caused by the low... Frequency of 3D. So a lot less amnesia. If you want, you can also play around with amnesia. As I said, the 3D matrix is intentionally and artificially created, and the free matrix was also created by creator beings with much more potential. Than those who may have created the 3D matrix, for example. You have much, much, much more freedom in the 5D matrix, so you can imagine it as a gigantic playground there. Yes, and in the free universe then, that is absolute freedom. This is in a frequency range, or you would say perhaps a dimension, that lies outside of all physical ones. So you are already above 9D and in the... Frequency range, you are then simply the creator God in the free matrix there. There is no longer any physical form. You are simply your higher self, your true self, simply the freest form you can be. 
Yes, that was the rough structure, the three-layer system of the matrix and freedom. Unless all of you wake up and blow up the matrix. That is an option. What are the ways to leave the matrix? As I said, we have five ways. Three of these paths lead into the free matrix, i.e. Physically on 5D on other planets, for example, two paths lead into the free universe, i.e. out of the free matrix and out of the 3D matrix, i.e. out of all matrices. Exactly, I would say, let's start with the first way. We will now tell you the first three paths that lead physically to 5D, i.e. into the free matrix. And the classic way, which we already explained in our three ways out of the matrix video, is the way via the black portals. That means that if you die completely normally, you have an accident or old age, I don't know, you just die and come to the astral plane. And then a light will be revealed from you mostly. The light radiates lovingly. You can then go through and then land on 5D mentally in the fifth dimension. Or you can choose to go through one of the black portals. The black portals came about because people continue to wake up and expand their consciousness. They are, so to speak, holes in the matrix, holes in consciousness through which one can escape and then physically land in 5D, i.e. on other planets. Probably on your home planet, on your spaceship, where you might be somewhere. No idea. What will you see when the time comes? In any case, you won't land. In the free universe, as we told it back then, and take all of your soul parts with you. No, you go into the free matrix. This came in as an update. Of course, you will then be much freer, but it is not the free universe, but the free matrix, which is infinitely large and encompasses the entire universe. So it's definitely pretty cool. Yes, these are the black portals that you can then go through. Unfortunately, they are overlaid with a fear frequency. That means it will be very, very difficult to go through it. This is a hundred times stronger than any fear you have probably felt in this life. Yeah, right. So these loopholes, these black portals lead to 5G. We used to think that if you use the black portals or we had received the information, you would be free. And we then interpreted that as a free universe. Exactly. The interpretation was wrong. Exactly. Our interpretation was not entirely correct. It just helps or it supports itself if you take the black portal instead of the inviting light to play in the matrix on 3D, then you come to the five-dimensional level, i.e. into the free matrix, and you can already see the free matrix or recognize it from the wording or the name of this matrix. It is much freer than the 3D matrix. There is no obligation to work or have to work to earn a living, or you don't have to pay taxes all your life. And there aren't many other things there. The duality that exists so strongly in the 3D matrix is also much more pleasant, much more open, and not so differentiated in the free matrix. And of course, that's a big step if you manage to get out of this 3D matrix. So it's quite a personal update to go from 3D to 5D. Exactly. If you are interested in what it is really like on 5D, we recommend our video from the course 3D versus 5D. You should definitely watch this again. We describe what it's like there politically, spiritually and so on, what possibilities there are, what alien races there are, all sorts of things. So then watch the video again. That was the video before. And you can see that very clearly on our version 2 map. We have already tried to more or less record the paths that exist or where the paths lead.
This means that you can only use the black portals if you have permanently discarded your physical body. So this is just the short period between death and being reborn. It's all about the short period of time between death and entering the light. This small interim period makes it possible to escape through one of the black portals. Once you have entered the light, this option is over. You just have to look for other options. Which actually doesn't exist. Which doesn't necessarily exist, because whoever goes into the light agrees to the wide reincarnation cycle. You can then stay on 5D mental as long as you want, or yes, not as long as you want, but you can stay there for many, many years. But at some point, it tugs at you, and then it says, the next incarnation is coming. Yes, our next way out of the matrix is quite classic. Simply end the reincarnation cycle. Normally, when you decide to come to Earth, you sign a contract for a certain number of lives, let's say 10. Totally unrealistic, but let's say 10. And as soon as you're done and have processed all 10 lives, you can leave the 3D matrix again. Depending on where you came from, that's exactly where you'll go back. So if you were previously incarnated on a 5D planet, you will come back to 5D. But if you have decided to jump from 6D, 7D directly into the 3D matrix, you will also return to 6D, 7D as a spiritual being. If you came from the free universe, you will, of course, go back to the free universe. So depending on where you actually came from, that's where you'll go again. So yes, that's the classic way. You finish your program and go back. Yes, agreeing to the reincarnation cycle also obliges every creator soul to complete this cycle. But the soul is also free to make it longer. Not just 10 live, maybe 20, 50, 100. And of course, that is the widespread problem that exists for many souls. Because in the matrix, there are many temptations, many things that keep encouraging you to reincarnate again. In the matrix, there are many temptations, many things that keep encouraging you to reincarnate again. Mostly because they prefer many pleasures here or cannot let go of them so easily. You build connections with family members, friends, partners. And so on. Which of course also encourages people to incarnate again. For example, some people have written to us saying that I don't want to leave the matrix at all. For example, because my last life was so beautiful, I want to get back into it. I want to experience it again. Experience it again. Or others who say, I can't leave my child here, or my husband, or my friends. I want to leave the matrix with them. And of course, that encourages most people to prolong the reincarnation cycle. So to extend, to extend the contract. Yes, to extend the contract, yes, that's the classic way. You sign for, let's say, 10 incarnations. As a creator soul before entering the 3D matrix, and then it starts. You live your first life, die, come to the astral plane, go into the light, plan your second life there again in more detail, and then go back down into the 3D matrix. So that's that red triangle on the map, the reincarnation cycle. You don't have to believe that the operators of the 3D matrix really have a great interest in you ending your reincarnation cycle as quickly as possible. That's not how it works. Of course, they think it's great that you not only have these 10 lives or... You don't live through incarnations that you originally signed up for, but of course they somehow try to use all. Tricks and tricks to get you to live more. This can also be compared to a game. 
A game also tries to get you to play the game for longer through updates and new levels, new challenges, new exciting adventures. Even if you personally think you've almost finished the game, you can then see the comparison. The next path takes us via the cryocapsules home to our 5D home planet or to our spaceship. Unfortunately, not everyone has this opportunity because not everyone has incarnated on Earth via a cryocapsule. These are just the star seeds. If you are interested, we made a video about the cryocapsules. I think this must have been our first video in this series. And we made a video about the star seeds. If you are interested or are just thinking about star seeds, you should watch the two videos again. Exactly, the third way, the cryocapsules, only for star seeds. Yes, cryocapsules, for those who don't know, are a high tech device. One has to assume that on 5D, all the alien species are tens of thousands of years ahead of us. And now imagine what our VR glasses can do. You put on the glasses and boom, you're in a game and can then kill zombies or run around and shoot each other with paint guns or real guns or whatever. Or fly through the universe. Or fly through the universe, the possibilities are really endless. Now imagine this technology 20, 50,000 years in the future. And that's where we come to the topic of cryocapsules. Cryocapsules are an extraterrestrial technology that, like the matrix in the film, make it possible to connect to the 3D matrix and tune in there. And through these capsules, you can then take part in an incarnation or even initiate a reincarnation cycle of several lives. Depending on what you have programmed into your capsule, and those who have programmed a cryocapsule and entered the 3D matrix through it will, of course, automatically return to their cryocapsule stationed in the free matrix after the. Die werden natürlich nach Abschluss des Programms automatisch zurück in ihre Kryokapsel in der freien Matrix. Program is completed. Yes, that would be that route. We don't need to say much more now because we made two videos, detailed, long videos about it. But that would be a path for all the starseeds among us who have decided to do their mission here on Earth. Just it. We explained everything in great detail in our behind-the-scenes seminar at the Matrix, what the cryocapsules look like, what types are available, and what is possible with them and which are still used by starseeds, but of course also by other alien races who have different uses and different agendas in relation to the 3D matrix. Yes, those were our three ways, out of the matrix, into the free matrix, or when ending the reincarnation cycle, possibly up into the free universe, depending on where you came from. Now come our two paths that do not lead into the free matrix. Very likely not. Definitely not one of them. And now let's start with dissociation, our master technique. With this, it is possible to leave the matrix in everyday life and possibly also come into the free universe. Eventuell auch in die freie, in das freie Universum zu kommen. Yes, dissociation, or as we call it, spiritual dissociation, is a technique that enables you to, if you have trained it well, if you are really able to distance yourself from everything, if you are in the. Wenn man sie gut trainiert hat, wenn man wirklich in der Lage ist, sich. Being able to let go of everything that is somehow associated with the 3D matrix, personally, individually, then you can skip the 5D matrix directly from the 3D matrix and out into the free universe.
und hinauf ins freie Universum gelangen. Und, and that is of course an attractive path for some, not for many, but for some who say to themselves, yes, I'm tired of all this matrix stuff, all the simulation realities, all the simulated games that exist. Die ganzen simulierten Spiele, die da existieren, ähm, I would like to go straight back home, back to my homeland, to the real universe where I originally came from. And that's exactly what you can achieve with spiritual dissociation. Yes, you can see on the map, on the new map of the matrix, you can see a man sitting in a ball like this in the middle on the... Right. You painted that so beautifully. And this sphere is the matrix shell, a kind of concord that has been drawn around the true self. This shell is a kind of matrix protection device that ensures that all true memories are encapsulated from the free universe. That's why some people also talk about the matrix capsule or matrix shell. As long as you are in this shell, you only have access to the memories that you experience in incarnations. The trick is, through spiritual dissociation, you learn to become aware of the self that is within this matrix, in this personal matrix capsule. And whoever manages to get there can then open this capsule from the inside, tear it open and then enter a kind of black portal or come into a deep black world and then be able to cross it. Just like with the black portals from 4D to 5D, can then enter the free universe. I have already explained this in my book, Spiritual Dissociation, Volume 2, which is also about the matrix shell, how you can achieve this matrix. Shell, what techniques you can use to become aware of the fact that you actually, actually sit in this matrix shell and from there has the chance to return to the free universe. Und von dort aus eben die Chance besitzt, ins freie Universum zurückzukehren. Then we now come to our final road. This is the ascension, the path of love. If you take this path, the ascension, you will inevitably practice dissociation at some point. Den Aufstieg wirst du irgendwann zwangsläufig auch die Dissoziation praktizieren. Because even if you want to enter absolute love or freedom at some point, you will have to enter absolute silence. You will also have to go through all your fears on this path. You will have to transcend your entire life in order to be truly free, to enter the state of samadhi, into your light body, and then actually ascend. We have already seen how this will work sometime. And yes, this path is certainly one of the hardest paths because like dissociation, you have to go through everything, transcend everything and let go, go through everything to really come into love. And that sounds easy because love is such a beautiful, loving word, but it's not. It really isn't at all. And takes a long time, can last many, many decades of life. Yes, yes, of course, that is a much, much longer path than the path of spiritual dissociation, the path of love, I would say, of ascension. For example, take a look at your favorite search engine and enter the word love to see how many results you get. Most, and also all the songs that exist in the world. Most of the songs are all about love. Die meisten Lieder drehen sich alle um Liebe. Ja. Movies? Film. Movies, exactly, movies. Most of them are all about love and then the word love is replaced by the word freedom. And then you read the text again in connection with the free universe with a little link behind it, with a little ulterior motive behind it. 
and you will be amazed at how you suddenly understand this song or the lyrics better. Yes, our six-part video series is now finished, in the sense. Yes, we thank you for coming and watching, as always, and yes, see you in the next video.